As we all know, water is essential to all life. Here at the Tampa Museum of Art, the latest exhibition shows the beauty of Earth's fragile waters. Fragile Waters features the work of three photographers, Ansel Adams, Dorothy Kerper Monnelly, and Ernest Brooks II. These three photographers look at water and the natural environment, and they're all three conservationists. One of the reasons why we chose to uh, bring Fragile Waters, the exhibition to Tampa, Florida, was the opportunity to look at the nature of water and the conversations that we have currently about water um, as an important element. Of course, we all need it every day, but one that is highly contested and over and for the next several decades will be we think one of the more important um, discussions that public policy officials have. So we wanted to have an exhibition that was about the beauty of water, but also to talk about conservation needs. Dorothy Kerper Monnelly's work ranges from the Great Marsh in Massachusetts to the beautiful coastal waters of Maui. Monnelly names Ansel Adams as her mentor and uses Adams' own system in her photography. She says, Raising awareness about environmental conservation is the focus of this exhibition. There is a need to share, and uh, so this is a great opportunity for me to share how, how I feel about these places and how valuable they are. I would like people to realize that we all need to find peace and harmony and beauty for ourselves. I think it, it just is the greatest gift and it's there, it's all around us if we take the time to see and to quiet ourselves and to be in the landscape. It's, uh, it's a gift and it's there. In addition to Fragile Waters, the second exhibition on display is Arp, Calder and Moreau, modern masters from the Albright Knox Art Gallery. 52 works of varied media are on display. One of the fascinating features about the exhibition where we're standing at the moment is the work of Alexander Calder. And many of us know Calder because he created these large hanging mobiles that adorn many great art museums around the world. Uh, but he started life as, as an engineer and then as a painter. So we get to know him a little bit in this exhibition through some of the early works, whether they're paintings or prints. And then we move into some of the later works, which are the large scale uh, standing sculptures we see behind me or also the mobiles that are hanging throughout the gallery. And while you're at the museum, don't forget to visit the mysterious mythical cruise liner. And then finally, the third exhibition is a video installation by a Belgian filmmaker, Hans Abdebeek, and it's a work titled Sea of Tranquility. And it's a 30 minute long work that looks at uh, life on an imaginary cruise ship. The museum is open seven days a week, every day beginning at 11, and during the week we're open until 7 at night, and on Fridays till 8, and on Saturdays and Sundays 11 to 5, and every Friday from 4 to 8 it's Art on the House, which is a pay-what-you-will admission fee, and that's being sponsored by GTE Financial. All three exhibitions will be on display through January 14th of 2014. For Spotlight Tampa, I'm Vaughn Williams.